now you know how to create shapes inside selected drawable for our button but what if we have our shapes in a separate xml or if we have some custom png images on such cases we have to use drawable attribute in the selected drawable so now i'm going to place all of my pngs in the drawable folder right click paste then make sure that the drawable folder is selected. Now OK. OK again. So these are the PNGs which we are going to set for our buttons enable the state, disable the state and press the state. OK. So now I'm going to create a separate drawable file. Let's name it button bg custom shape then ok now angle bracket item state pressed true then a space android drawable at drawable let's select the button pressed then close this item tag now let's create another item for state enabled true then android drawable at drawable uh, button enable true then close the tag again let's create our final item for disabled state so state enabled false space android drawable at drawable button enable false and that's it now we need to refer this selected drawable in the background property of our button next so let's move on to the activity main.xml and let's just replace this button bg color with our newly created selected drawable button bg custom shape and in this preview pan you can see the changes let's run this code we can see our nice custom background for the button next now if i press this button you can see another drawable for state pressed We can also change this value to false to check the disabled states drawable, which is the gray one. Now I will resize this button by specifying some value in its width and height. Let's say layout width 140 dp and height 70 dp. However, you can specify any size you want. Let's run this code again to see all the changes as you can see our button is disabled now and it got 140 dp width and 70 dp height perfect 